Hi Libra, welcome to your end of 2022 general reading. We're going to have a chaotic cross to tell us a little bit about your situation in the end of 2022. Then we're going to clarify and also ask for some Seasons of the Witch, Yule Oracle Advice and with the Tarot of the Occult we're going to see if you have any blockages you have to work on. Wow. <laughs> wow, Libra. Here we go. So, right now, I think that you have... You are living a moment where you... You are just not giving to a situation anymore. You are just grabbing grabbing your stuff, grabbing your words, your thoughts, your knowledge, and walking away. I see that you are also curious to see if the situation or, or the person that you're leaving behind, it's coming to chase you, or you want to see if you leaving somehow is triggering any kind of behavior, triggering any kind of consequence, triggering any chain effect, chain reaction. But nonetheless, you are gathering everything that you can and you are leaving. Potential and or challenges of this situation. It is somehow something official, something superior. This can be that you really have learned a lot from the situation of or from this person. And now you find yourself knowing more, being more important. This somehow to me tells me that the potential of the situation, you are leaving, but now you have ascended. You really know a lot more about yourself and about the world. You know where you want to go, where you want to find yourself. And you don't want to go back to not valuing you yourself or not being valued. I really think that this is a end position, meaning that this is a potential and a challenge for you not to go back to situations that the, the value of you 
as a person or the value of your effort is not being praised enough. What does the universe want you to focus on is actually this ending that you are going through. This ending is a very important one because you are leaving this dead field here and you're going towards the sun. Here we have a Pope that is giving his blessing to you and you have kids here welcoming you to the sun, to going through this portal in between these two towers, meaning that you are ready for ascension. So this is what the universe wants you to focus on, Libra. This end has made you ascend. So focus on your ascension, on your evolution. In the recent past, and the high priestess is basically the counterpart of the hierophant here, meaning that this spiritual ascension somehow is really balanced in masculine and feminine energy. Because in the recent past, you went within, you understood that you had the knowledge, the spiritual power, and understanding that you are whole and sacred and intelligent and beautiful and worthy, you don't need to communicate your opinion. You know that you are abundant, whole, intelligent, beautiful. And this is what you understood in the recent past. What do you bring to the table, Libra? The tower. <laughs> Somehow, and this can have two complete different meanings over here. This can mean self-sabotage to me. But as this is the position of your strength, not your weaknesses, this tells me that your strength is that no matter how many times people destroy everything that you have built, you will always build with a stronger structure. In your near future, you will feel young again. You will feel like you are ready to start over and to give your heart and your effort again. But it will be slowly. You will not rush into it. You will transform yourself in someone very foolish, very naive, very young again because you will find this freshness inside yourself once again. What is the approach that the universe wants you to take regarding this person or this situation? Put down the burdens, make it end, leave it behind. The pain must be over. You can no longer Walk around with this thin ones in your back. Put it down, leave it behind and start over. What does the universe want you to know? Archangel Michael is helping you with the healing. He wants you to be balanced. He wants you to be whole and sacred and divine again. Get in touch with your heart, with your feelings, and with your light. Hopes and fears, 
This position is always a head up from the universe telling you, Libra, which side, which part of the outcome of the situation you are trying to control, you have expectations on. And it is the lovers. You hope that in your future you can make a better choice in love. Or you are afraid that in your future you will not be able to choose right. But this is only you trying to control the outcome. And you cannot control the outcome. The only thing that you can do is heal so you can be young again. Because with all of this that you've been truth, true, I'm sorry, Libra, we see that in the outcome we have the Wounded Warrior card. Yes, you are wounded, but now you know to build a warrior, a, 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 a wall, I'm sorry, a barrier between a, your energy and the energies that you don't want to come in your life again. Remember, you must ascend. You must better yourself. You must heal. So instead of being the wounded warrior that suffers and blocks every blessing in his or her life, you will be the wounded warrior that is ascending because he or she learned important things in life and now the only thing that he or she will block from their lives is everything that does not resonate with your energy so you can ascend so you can heal and you can rebuild with a much more solid foundation. Let's clarify. Bottom of the deck we have the Page of Swords, meaning that this whole energy is very forthcoming, very fast. This can also mean that someone is spying on you or you are spying on someone, but you know, the page is someone with his sword up or her sword up. This is communication, this is fast communication. This is also you being very assertive or changing things fast for yourself. <sighs> Let's see what we need to clarify exactly. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? Here we go again. I start dropping cards everywhere. <laughs> Ace of Wands. See, you have the sun again here in the horizon and a butterfly. Things will be improving fast because this is a new beginning, full of passion, full of light, full of willpower, full of that eager to live to new things. Why is the Page of Cups here? <laughs> the Fool, a clean slate. You, as I said, that naivete, that, that will to start new things with a light, mind, light heart, just restarting a new path. 
Why are the lovers here? Why are the lovers at the Hopson Pierce? Hoping for that abundant new beginning, afraid that you cannot have an abundant new beginning. Well, a new beginning is all that it has here for you, that the universe has in store for you, Libra. Let's also clarify the outcome. Why is the wounded warrior here? Why is the Knight of Wands here? The Seven of Pentacles. But I feel that someone else wants to come out. Yes, the Sun. So as I explained to you, you are no longer investing in things situations, feelings, or people that don't, don't have actually a payback. You know who is being allowed to pass through that barrier, Libra. And we have the sun. The sun will shine again. The sun is a major arcana. The sun is one of the most beautiful cards in the tarot deck. Here you are again, just a little boy or a little girl on a horse, ready to ride new roads and paths towards your life adventure. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, of the clarifier deck, the Ten of Swords, it's the end of pain. It's the end of betrayal. It's the end of everything that stabbed you in the back. So, with the Seasons of the Witch Yule Oracle, we will ask for more advice in this situation for Libra. You have Mother Mary, you have merriment and you have light. 23, 21, and 20. Into the arms of a mothering embrace swells a wisdom full of grace. In thy bosom, where she whispers, sleeps the eye of the winter. Simply you being embraced by the universe you being embraced and taken care of by Mother Mary. Because you need to feel that warmth in the middle of the winter. You need to rest, rejuvenate, be, think, be taken care of. And you will. Merriment. What joy, what glee beams from the sounds of voices, uplifting the webs of sorrow, glimmering as if no tomorrow. Because every time something ends, only new beginnings await, even if it's hard, if it's painful, but you will learn through pain so you can find, you know, the sun again. And light. Hope is but a word, but a word casting the unseen. Let there be light where light is but a dream. So Libra, keep dreaming with your new beginning. Keep dreaming of your light and this too shall pass. This pain too shall pass and give birth to a new beginning, give birth to more positive things.
Let's see with the Tarot of the Occult if you have any blockages that you need to work on. You have the Ace of, of Wands here once again. The Hierophant once again. The World. Eight of Cups. The Hermit. Five of Wands. Six of Cups. And this was the Nine of Swords. So I see that you have to let go of all your negative feelings and this meaning that you need to work on resentment. You need to understand that you need to start over with a lot of energy. You need to understand that you need to go further of the, from the appearances and go deeper in your relationships, especially in the relationship with yourself. You need to start and finish what you start. You need to walk away from feelings that keep you in the past. You are holding on to something that you need to let go. You need to find yourself and love your company before being with someone else. This means also being independent, finding your talents and giving yourself the right value. Stop creating conflicts when you are still in conflict with yourself. Stop denying your childhood trauma, your family, even if you don't like your family. They are a part of you. Let go of the bad things because you're going to learn from those. Learn to see what is positive in your past so we can make amends with everyone everything and love who you are so Libra this is what I have for you as always I thank you very much for sharing your time with me have a wonderful 2023 take care out there and I'll see you next time bye bye